Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with GadgetX, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Exposed Framework on Android Marshmallow. Now, Robo89 has been hard at work getting Exposed to run on Marshmallow, so remember to thank him or shoot him a donation if you're an Exposed user. But basically, now we can install the framework on pretty much any device running Android 6.0, which means all those awesome tweaks and modules are back in play. To get this one going, you obviously need to be running Marshmallow, but you also need to have a custom recovery installed and unknown sources enabled. If you need any help with those requirements, by the way, I have a guide on each of them linked out at the full tutorial for this one. But one thing I should note in case you're watching this video a few months from now is that Samsung users will need an entirely different version of Exposed for Marshmallow, and that's not available at this time. At any rate, the first thing you're going to need to do is figure out what kind of processor you have, because there's three different CPU-specific versions of Exposed now. To make this part easier, I'd suggest downloading a free app called Hardware Info, which I have linked out at the full tutorial. Then once you've got it installed, just open the app and tap the processor entry. From here, you're looking for one of three different CPU architectures, ARM v7, ARM64, or x86. Depending on your device, this listing may not be in the exact same place as it is on mine, but you'll find it under the processor category either way. Then once you've figured out which CPU architecture your device is running, head to step 2 in my full tutorial to download the corresponding version of the Exposed Framework zip for your device. And while you're there in step 2, go ahead and grab a copy of the Exposed Installer APK as well, which is a one-size-fits-all app that'll work on any device. Then with the files saved to your phone or tablet, it's time to boot into Custom Recovery and flash the Exposed Framework. So start by turning your device completely off. When the screen goes black, press and hold the volume down and power button simultaneously. After a few seconds, Android's bootloader menu should come up. From here, press the volume down button twice to highlight recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. Now, as with any kind of flashable zip, you should definitely make a full Nandroid backup before you install this, but I've already done that today, so I'm ready to go. So next, tap the install button in TWRP's main menu, then navigate to your download folder and select the exposed framework zip. From here, just swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install the framework. And when that's finished, tap reboot system. At this point, if you rooted using Chainfire's new systemless root method, tap do not install on the screen. Otherwise, your device should automatically reboot as soon as you hit that reboot system button. And keep in mind that it's gonna take a lot longer to boot up than it normally does this first time. So give it as much as 20 minutes to wrap that up. But once your device has finished booting back up, you'll need to install the Exposed Installer app so that you can download and manage modules. To take care of that, simply tap the Download Complete notification for the Exposed Installer 3.0 APK, then press Install on the menu that comes up next. Once that's finished, go ahead and open the Exposed Installer app and you'll be all set to download some modules. Keep in mind though that most system modules will have to be updated for Marshmallow support, so things like Gravity Box and Advanced Power Menu aren't working yet. As a rule of thumb though, modules that only affect other apps should already work, so there's plenty of stuff to tweak already. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!